Hi, this is Supernova, otherwise known as the guy who made that awful video about why 0.9 repeating doesn't equal 1. And I didn't positively prove that 0.9 repeating doesn't equal 1. Rather, I debunked one of the arguments that's still popular that mathematicians still consider true, uh, although they shouldn't. And I thought I did a, a very good demonstration of, of why uh, they don't uh, equal each other, but perhaps... I, I didn't explain it well enough. Uh, and there's also some foreknowledge that you have to have. I, I was kind of hoping that everybody who came to the discussion would already have it. Uh, but if you're not already familiar with the idea of uh, comparing the size of infinities, I would suggest that you educate yourself on that now because it's very important. You have to know before you understand the argument that I'm going to make in this video. Uh, there's a link below to Minute Physics that did uh, a great explanation of it. And, and I'll wait um, while you go do that. And of course, you'll also need to be familiar with the uh, argument that I'm going to represent uh, that you would have seen in the other video that I'm, I'm responding to my earlier video. Uh, all right, so because I'm not a graphics artist and I can write and I have markers, uh, here is Figure one. What I've shown you is a couple of infinities. It's just the integers. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six into infinity. And uh, another set, two into infinity. And these are both uh, what people would call rays. You know, they start at a point and then they, they just go in one direction into infinity. And I don't think anybody would argue that the positive integers uh, from 1 to infinity are anything less than an infinite set, nor is that true of 2 to infinity. They're both infinite. But uh, if you got the discussion from minute physics and you know how to compare the size of infinities, you'll recognize that this one is bigger. How do we know that? Well, by comparing sets. They both have a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, a 6, and so on into infinity, but they don't both have a one. This first infinity, this first ray, has one more item, one more object, one more number than the other set. It is a bigger set. It is a bigger infinity. And this is part of the mathematical consensus. Mathematicians agree with this and believe this, that there are different sizes of infinities and you can make them bigger or smaller. Seriously, this should be commonly known knowledge. All right, so let's go back to the uh, argument made about how 0.9 supposedly equals 1. Uh, the, the most popular argument, I think, the one that I presented originally here in figure 2, uh, x equals 0.9 repeating. If you multiply both sides by 10, you have 10x equals 9.999 repeating because all you've done is move the decimal point over one place, as you can. There's nothing wrong with that. And then you subtract x from both sides. Uh, 10x minus x is 9x, and 9.9 .9 repeating minus x, which is 0.9 repeating, should equal 9. But it's not. What I asserted in my video is that the 0.9 repeatings are two different 0.9 repeatings. I said that these two infinities were not equal. I said, yes, it's 0.9 repeating, and yes, it's 0.9 repeating, but they're not the same 0.9 repeating. Let me show you here in figure three. Originally, we start with 0.9 repeating, and then when we multiply it by 10, the decimal point moved over one place, and we've got one less nine. It's still 0.9 repeating. I'm not, I'm not playing with any rules. Uh, I'm not cheating here. You can have 0.9 repeating with one less digit. We do that by multiplying it by 10. And how do we know that it's not the same size? by comparing the infinities. You, you take the nines from each set and you compare them into infinity, but you're going to be missing the first one because we moved that decimal point. That is all I was asserting in the first video. I was saying that if you subtract this, uh, this original 0.9 repeating from 9.9 .9 repeating, you're not going to get 9 because you're not subtracting the same 0.9 repeating. And if you don't have 9 equals 9x, you don't get uh, 
x equals 1. And I showed you the one way that you could do the math. And here's where I had another bunch of problems. People said, wait, you can't have an infinity with a different digit at the end. And I was like, why not? Uh, stop asserting it. Show me proof that you can't. And people are like, mathematicians don't accept this. It, it doesn't make sense. I, I don't understand why. Because, again, I'm not uh, playing with any rules here that uh, mathematicians haven't already established. Let's say uh, in figure four here we have the set of integers again. I've just put it in the little set brackets. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and two infinity. Here, I've taken the same bracket and I've just put the one at the end. There's no reason you can't. It's still the exact same set. I've simply transposed it. I've taken the first item and made it the last item. And there's no reason you, you can't do that. Uh, I know that it boggles people's minds. So like, you can't get from this point and then cross infinity to get here. Well, stop thinking of it as crossing infinity. It's just infinity in between instead of at the end. I know it's different. I know that you haven't seen such a thing before, but there's no reason that it can't exist. And here's an example from that minute physics video. Again, this is established math. Everybody agrees with this. If you take all the real numbers from zero to one, you have an infinite set. Now let's say that you order them from least to greatest. You have zero, point zero, repeating one into infinity. You have an infinite number of numbers there. And then you have point nine repeating, and then you have one. You get to one at the end and a zero at the start, and there's an infinity in between. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to have the infinity at the end. It, it's just weird and different, and so people can't even wrap their minds around it. Uh, but you're, you're going to have to, because this is my last response. I used to comment all the time on people's comments in my videos, and I don't have the energy. Uh, frankly, if you still don't get it, I ha don't have the time or the crayons to explain it to you.